Welcome back to the show. Joining us now to discuss sex and relationships is sexologist Dr. Limor Blockman. Hi, Limor. How are you Hi, doing? Hi, dear. How are you? Good to have you back. Thank you. So, uh, last time you were here, we talked about men's libido, but today we are <laughs> going to talk about the ever important women's libido. So, of course. what about it? It's very important. Yes. And for that measure, they actually went and examined um, close to 200 women in a lab. And what they were trying to find out is how will they respond if they slept more hmm. in terms of their libido. Okay. Because women need sleep. We need more sleep. In general, we need 20 minutes more. Really? Just as a fact. Women need more sleep than men? Yeah, our mind is so worried. <laughs> we're so consumed <laughs> with things. Yeah, so they went on and examined this, this question. Do they need more? And does it affect their sex drive? Hmm. And what they did is they gathered them in a lab and they examined the, the basic line of it they examined and then they sent them off. Uh, and I want to mention that these women were free of antidepressants and with good uh, internet connection, which makes you think, what are they doing <laughs> with this internet connection? But it's not yeah. that. It's actually something else because in the next uh, 14 days, consecutive days, they needed to fill up a questionnaire upon ar arousal mm -hmm. when they woke up in the morning and to fill up uh, that questionnaire saying if they felt more aroused after sleeping more, if they slept more, these kind of things. And what they came up with was a very interesting uh, result. They mm. actually found that when women slept more, they had more sexual desire the next day. And more That's importantly, yes. They had 14 to 20 uh, percent more uh, chances of partnered sex, coitus. Okay. <laughs> so you know, sleeping beauty, libido galore. You know, <laughs> all these hours. Yeah, right. And then the women but, always joke that their man keeps them up at night. Trying I know. To, so yes. They should let them sleep, and then the next day they'll Absolutely, be waking up. Absolutely, because this is. <laughs> the next day benefit from it yeah because it is very important there's a very big correlation between rest and sleep for women mm -hmm. and their libido I want to say first of all that um, Martha Miena one of the leading researchers in the field of sexuality actually said that the heart of female desire is to be desired mm -hmm. so it's something very imperative for women to feel rested to feel like they're coveted to feel that everything is going well for them in order for them to feel desired to feel to feel interested so in lack sex. of sleep can inhibit their feeling of being desired absolutely huh. because think about it when you don't sleep you actually walk around like a zombie right you're unrested you're, you're upset, cranky everything upsets you <laughs> me right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything annoys yeah. you. It's not a good basis for being aroused. Hmm. And you know, women are very complex to begin with. You know, no wonder men need like a roadmap. They need to ask Siri, where is the next right. you know, amusement park? <laughs> but honestly, it's really a problem. And for women themselves to kind of find out what works for them, let alone for men. So I have a few, you know, a few suggestions mm -hmm. are really very relevant for this. Um, first of all, to check your intimate exchange because we are in a relationship, sometimes it's long, sometimes it's not as long. But things change between us. If we are in a non-supportive relationship, it's gonna harm us. We're not, mm. we're not feeling protected, we're not feeling loved. Women have the tendency to keep track of things. Oh, he mentioned something <laughs> that I don't look, my butt yes, doesn't do. look that great in this dress <laughs> and I remember it, I'm not aroused right now. So really we have like, we have all these lists of things that we need to get rid of when we approach you know, the sexual activity. Mm -hmm. So this is the one thing. Secondly, really hydration. Women don't count it as something important, but dryness everywhere is problematic for your libido. And that includes vaginal dryness. You know, women that don't sleep, there's not an exchange of hormones. There's no, hmm. you know, nothing that going on in terms of the hormonal change. And that will inflict on their vaginal dryness and the disability to really become aroused or enjoy the sex that they're having. So it's beyond mental. Yes, absolutely. It, it's really physical as well. Absolutely. Making the bedroom a sanctuary, somewhere that you want to go to. Mm -hmm. And there are a few schools of thoughts that actually say that uh, the bedroom should be reserved only for sleep and sex. I think that you should spend some time there because especially if you, if you uh, lay around undressed in bed and you just watch a show or something. Mm -hmm. Something could be casually happening. You can be close all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to the next point. Never go to bed really resentful and yeah, angry. This is a good it's I mean this is a good very, marriage tip. Yes, as yes. Well. It's very important because that affects libido for women. Mm -hmm. I know and again I'm not saying that men when we spoke about it, they're right. not robots. They don't no, operate no. this way and they're inflicted by it as well. But women for sure if they go to sleep angry it's not going to work the same it's day, so let them well. sleep and it will be okay. <laughs> let women sleep. Let us sleep, men. Thank you so much for more. Thank for you.